Hey guys, I'm over here at a RV park with a, uh, <laughs> a subscriber who asked me to take a look at his motorhome. He's got a uh, Monaco Signature. I'll have to take a look at it. And uh, I was looking at his roof. And I know on all these roof inspections, I always talk about how they bodywork uh, the rear cap into the front cap so that there's a seamless transition there. Uh, I just wanted to kind of show you what to look for if there is a failure. This is probably what you're going to see. I went ahead and looked. It's a 2004 Monaco Signature. It's a beautiful coach. It's got four slides. All right, so again, peeling, peeling uh, clear, that's pretty common. Uh, checking, that's pretty common. But if you can see right there, there's a big crack all the way down right there. So this would be the rear cap and this would be the roof. And this is where they body worked it together. And so that body work failed. I don't, you can even see filler in there. So the obvious repair would be to grind this all out and do a fiberglass repair and then repaint it. Or we're just going to go ahead and use some uh, Proflex over the top and seal off these. You can see a little bit of damage right there too. But you can see the actual fiberglass right there. So That's why I say these are uh, actually true coat fiberglass. But we've already inspected a number of these Monaco's so we won't bother doing that. So all I'm going to do is just chip off any sealant that's on there and then I'll just put some clear Proflex over the top of it so that it's at least watertight or water resistant there to keep water from getting into the roof. You can see substantial checking up here, but you can see that transition again right there where the front cap meets the roof. And again, right over here. So somebody's already sealed this off before. That's just silicone. So it's a quick and dirty repair. Should work just as fine. So all I'm gonna do is chip off the the loose stuff without trying to make it look too bad. I'm not sure how successful I'm gonna be. All right, and I'll clean it up, and then I'll just uh, I'm gonna just put some tape down. So I can uh, seal that off and make it look decent enough, and then we'll see what we do. So if the sealant stuck pretty well, I don't see any other reason to uh, try to take it off. All right. But yeah, this stuff would just flake off pretty easily. So if you ever decide to want to repaint. You're clear. You have to get all the loose stuff off, and as you start sanding, it'll just keep getting looser and looser and looser. That's why it turns into a big job. That's why a lot of places don't want to quote a uh, re-clear job. They'll have to do an entire paint job. All right, so I just have this masked off to make the uh, look a little bit better. It's just a fine balance between functionality and uh, appeal. Take like that mask off and then we'll uh, clean it up. All right, now there with the Proflex on, it looks like way too much. I could have just done a bead, but this will give uh, the sealant more uh, surface adhe adhesion, so it won't uh, tend to flake off so bad. So what I'll generally just do is just get my cleaner out and lubricate the, uh, the sealant and then just kind of smear it around a little bit better that way it doesn't stick to my finger so bad now, it won't ever look great now we got that kind of smeared around. We're just basically making a patch. Yes, we could have used a turnabon, 
but a turnabout is white and uh, it'll be a really ugly repair. Now we can just do one final little smeary daub, smear it out one more time. All right, now we may not win any beauty contest with this, but it is keeping the water from getting back in there now. You know, we'll allow it to flex a little bit. If we just did a little bead right there, that would definitely peel off. I'll just do that in the other areas and then we'll be done. Well, again, not ideal, but better than water leaking in. Otherwise, this repair would probably be ballooning up to about $2,500 once you get all the paintwork built. Because uh, you have to decide where you stop paintwork. And with all the checking on there, you have to decide how deep you're going to go with it. Well, there you go, guys. Quick little repair on a uh, 2004 Monaco Signature.